There's a lot of confusion in the drilling sector with regard to G-force and throughput. Many people will tell you that G-force is the most important factor in solids removal, while other people will tell you that throughput is the more important. I want to tell you that they're both important. However, there are advantages and disadvantages to both. The only way to explain this is to start out with the definitions of both terms. When people talk of G-force in relation to centrifuges, they're actually talking about centrifugal force. Centrifugal force is an outwardly directed force acting on a body rotating around a central point. When the drilling fluid enters the centrifuge, the force applied to the fluid pushes it towards the outside walls of the centrifuge bowl. Typically, the faster the bowl spins, the more force is applied to the fluid. Within that fluid are particles like drilled solids, barite, and other chemicals and products. All these things have a specific gravity or weight. The heavier the weight of that product, the faster the product will be forced to the outside of the centrifuge bowl and removed. To remove larger particles like barite or surface hole drill cuttings, very little centrifugal force is needed because the specific gravity is very heavy and will cause these particles to be forced to the outside wall faster. The auger will then scrape the inside of the centrifuge bowl wall and pull the solids up the beach and out through the solids port. The layer fluid and solids or products remain on the top of the pond and will flow through the holes cut out in the auger to be returned to the rig via the overflow pipe. In order to achieve higher levels of centrifugal force, you need an increased amount of power. Uh, this, is, uh, this increased power will require a larger motor and more receptacles to achieve. We have found that the benefit of centrifugal force in relation to drilling fluid has a point at which you will actually receive diminished returns. Ultimately, the cost to achieve such a small difference in cut point doesn't make sense. The majority of solids can be removed from the drilling fluid if the shaker screens are the appropriate size for efficient removal of uh, drill cuttings and the centrifuge is processing 100% of hole volume as soon as the fluid comes out of the hole. If you add the appropriate centrifugal force for the specific gravity of the, of the solids in your drilling fluid, you have a winning combination. Throughput is the centrifuge's capacity to process the drilling fluid. This is accomplished by the feed pump size, feed and suction hose size, the feed tube size, centrifuge bowl size, and the centrifuge pond depth plates, and the overflow pipe. In order to achieve a higher throughput, all of these items must be of adequate size and in good working condition. We have already determined that centrifugal force of a centrifuge is only beneficial up to a certain point. The key is to have an adequate processing rate to be able to get the biggest benefit from the applied centrifugal force. With throughput, retention time becomes very important. Retention time is the amount of time that the drilling fluid is retained inside the centrifuge bowl, allowing the centrifugal force to work against the fluid, thus removing more solids. The idea is to have a deeper pond depth so you can have more retention. This allows the fluid to stay inside the bowl longer. A longer centrifuge bowl will give the solids with a lighter specific gravity more time for the centrifugal force to really have an impact, thereby increasing the amount of low gravity solids removed. Centrifuges are rated on their hydraulic processing rate, which is the industry standard for testing with water. The difference between the hydraulic processing rate of a centrifuge and the processing rate of drilling mud with a centrifuge can be as much as 50% lower when someone tells you that 
they can process 1.6 cubes a minute. Always clarify by asking the question, is that with water or mud? If you are suspicious about the answer, ask them for proof of their processing rates. As you increase mud weight and viscosity, your processing rate will decrease. If you have a one cube a minute machine, that means you, you may only be processing half a cube a minute. If you intend to pump one cube a minute with a higher mud weight and viscosity, you'll probably need a machine that can process double that amount, or roughly two cubes, just in order to maintain your mud weight and to be able to process the one cube a minute that the rig is pumping. We believe that throughput is very important. Having a machine that has a high g-force but can only process half a cube a minute is just a waste of money. I'm sure they have their applications, but for the majority of the wells in Western Canada these days, these machines just don't cut it. The best solution is to have a centrifuge that can process 100% of your rig pump rate, which can also spin at a fast enough speed to achieve the most efficient centrifugal force. If you found this information valuable, Please forward it along to your co-workers and friends who may benefit. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment. Or you may contact me via phone, email, Twitter, my blog, YouTube, or LinkedIn. Thank you and have a great day.